before I met Anna Lisa, I had been writing for some five years. I had a novel I was working on, which was going nowhere. And I'd written a collection of short stories, which I couldn't sell. So basically, I was in writer's hell. I was creating, but I was unable to do anything about it. I, I couldn't get myself out there. I was quite depressed, really. Here am I creating something I think is great, and I can't get it out there. Now, I must admit, I did have doubts, because I'd been caught out before. I'd had an editor who did, did work on my book, and basically wanted to completely rewrite the book. I'd fallen for courses that didn't work before. When I thought about investing in the work, I was a little bit doubtful at first, I must admit. But then when I actually got to talk to Annalisa, that's where the difference came. Because I thought to myself, this is someone who actually understands writing, who understands authors, understands the industry. This is someone to whom I should form a relationship in that she will help me get to where I want to go. There are people out there who've been taking me. And here's somebody who actually seems to well, think that maybe I can actually get there and believes that I can get there. Whereas these other people just saw me as a cash cow. Once I met Annalisa, I realized this was somebody who actually understood me. Not only understood me, but understood how I write and how I think, which is apparently quite rare. And now, a few years later, I have two books published, both of which have won a prize for best book of the year. About 20 or so short stories published in various anthologies. That's 20 anthologies, not 20 stories. The number of stories is about 30. It feels fantastic because it means people are actually reading my stories and enjoying them. If it hadn't been for Annalisa, quite honestly, I would have probably given up writing. I would have been your typical frustrated writer, you know, living in a garret or equivalent and not getting published, nobody knowing you existed. And I would very likely have given up writing. Instead, I've written nearly 1.4 million words over, a, so far, 26 different books.